On Sunday, June 12, 2022, our most precious Supreme Master Ching Hai called Supreme Master Television team members concerned for their well-being. She lovingly gave a health tip in relation to eye care when working in front of a computer. During the conference, Master also kindly answered questions the members had regarding the situation in Ukraine and the world as a whole. Hi, Master. Anybody home? Yes, Master. Yes, master. <laughs> are you all, all right? Happy? Yeah, yeah we are master, great. Thank you. How are you, Master? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not too good, but good. Oh. Meaning, I'm good. <laughs> oh. Good is good. <laughs> it's just that too much suffering and anxiety in the world doesn't uh, help me to feel restful. Oh. Even though my soul is restful. Mm. Oh, understand. Yes, Master. Just we are in this world and it's inevitable that we can feel other people's suffering, pain and sorrow mm-hmm. or unhappiness. But in this world, there's too little happiness. Yes, mm-hmm. master. that's true. So we feel all the suffering and sorrow of people. I mean, the people from both the human and animal kingdoms. And it's just that thing. It's a shame. We could have a paradise here mm-hmm. on earth. Right. Right. Yes. Yes, master. I want to tell you guys, also know your brothers later, that if your eyes are tired from staring too long at the computer screen or working, the bright screen makes your eyes tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And apart from going out every couple of hours in the greenery to relieve the strain, strenuous feeling from the eyes as well as repairing and replenishing them before you rest, you should put, like, a wet towel on your eyes, okay? Oh, yes, I okay. understand. It's better if you put cold chamomile tea into the towel. Yes. And then you put it on your eyes while lying, resting. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, master. And uh, keep changing it so that it's cold and fresh, yeah. More of chamomile tea all the time. Right, yes. Yeah, just put it on your eyes, make them rest while you are reciting the holy names and relax like that for a while, maybe up to 10 minutes. Yes. Okay. Thank you for Thank this tip, master. master. Yeah, it will be very helpful. Yes. If you don't have chamomile tea, then at least use some cold water, okay? Okay, Master. It will not harm your eyes. It will be good anyway. Remember that. Yes, Master. Thank you. Whenever you can at night. You can cook the cum my tea and let it be cold in a jar or something. Yes, right. And then uh, you can leave it in the fridge or at room temperature or outside in the cool temperature. If you can. Yes, master. If you like it cold, you keep it in the fridge and whenever you use it, you take it out. Yes, yes. master. You don't have to cook it every day. Every time you use it, maybe one cum of my tea, back for one cup. Yes. Like the normal China tea cup, and it can be used for a couple of days or three days until it's finished. Then you can make a new one. Uh-huh. Yes, I understand. Maybe you cannot do it every day, you're tired or something, but you have a treatment maybe three, four days or one week and then take a rest, <laughs> or maybe three days, take a rest and do it again. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. I forgot about that. I just remember now, I mean, a few days now because. I remember when my eyes had to be operated on, and the doctor told me that. Oh. And then now, because my eyes keep bothering me, I remember that. Oh. Of course, I told you all about the eye drops already. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yes. But this is extra. Yes, Master. Thank you so much, Master, for the tip. Thank you, Master. It's okay, of course. I should have remembered that a long time ago. But uh, I keep bearing the eye irritation because I keep pushing it. <laughs> when I'm working, <laughs> I couldn't care less what. This is bad. It's not good like that. Not good at all. You must take care of yourself, okay? Right. right. Yes, master. Don't do what I do. <laughs> do, do what I told you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, master. I forgot and I have too much worry and anxiety about the world. Oh. What the world. I'm still fighting so that not all the world will be annihilated. Oh. I'm still fighting, negotiating, discussing about that. Oh. With all concern in heaven and on earth. Thank you, Master. But the thing is, we cannot save all of them. 
we could save the souls, so some good ones. Yes. Mm. Because not all of them are good. Not all of them are repentant. And not all of them are real humans. Oh, wow. They were like demons and ghosts or Maya, the illusion of kings, uh, subordinates. Mm. Yeah. Infiltrating into human world to stir up problems, to cause havoc and pain to humans. Mm. That's what they do. So we cannot save everyone, even if we wanted to. Mm, I understand, understand. Some are also possessing humans to make them do bad things. Oh, God. Mm. You can see that through the war in Ukraine. Mm, that's true. Yes, yes. What did Master mean by some humans are not humans? Yeah, because some are kind of zombies. They are possessed by some lower negative entity. And they direct that person to do things, not according to what that person really wants. Oh. Therefore, sometimes people go out and do some bad things and come back, and they don't remember. Investigations are underway across this country after 13 mass shootings took place over the weekend. There have been more mass shootings than days in the year so far. In only 157 days this year, there have been, been at least 246 mass shootings, defined as four or more people shot and or killed in a single incident. And they're happening in every kind of scenario, public and private. So tonight, new details surface in the death of a local attorney here. She was attacked in her own home over the weekend. Detectives saying her house was most likely chosen at random. And investigators tell News 6 the suspect here had just been reported missing from the nearby hospital. We have not been able to establish any connection between the victim and the suspect. Franklin's longtime girlfriend telling News 6 about an hour before the alleged murder, she reported him missing from ORMC after being admitted for making what she called troubling statements. Because the way he was talking, he does not talk like that. He respect people. He was talking crazy. He was even thinking that somebody was going to kill him. Okay, that's just the things that he was saying. Orlando police say that Franklin told them that he doesn't remember anything that happened from the time that he left the hospital to the time he was arrested. A man suspected of killing his roommate in Osceola County. Waddell allegedly shot at Corvino more than a dozen times. Over and over, Waddell told police he was fine, but he couldn't remember what happened before police showed up. From what he could remember, Waddell says he woke up that morning feeling scared and being in Corvino's room, where he saw Corvino covered in blood with a gun lying next to him. Waddell went on to say that sometimes he has nightmares and thoughts of wanting to kill young men, but never acted on these thoughts. We will charge you with murder, and then we'll go from there. Okay? Murder? That's right. Stuart Cox's reaction to learning he would face a murder charge was immediate. Upon learning why he was in a police interrogation room, things soon changed. Tracy's name was Tracy Brock. That's right. That's my girlfriend. Right. That's wrong with her. She's dead. You killed her. When you all got an argument and you shot her, you killed her. She's dead. That's why you're being charged with murder. From the moment Cox is accused, he denies remembering anything about the morning of March 25th. Even when detectives say witnesses place him at this Alt Scheller place home at the time of the murder. I don't remember anything past last night. Whenever I passed out. Investigators continue to ask why Tracy Brock is dead. Cox claims he doesn't know, saying he loved her, even breaking down at times. 43-year-old DeCarlos Brooks appeared in court today after being accused of shooting Officer Glenn Doss. Police say Brooks shot Doss in the head after DPD officers were dispatched to his house on McDougal for a 911 call. According to Brooks' attorney, he doesn't remember what happened that day. He has no recollection of the events. Therefore, I'm unable able to, at this point to proceed. 25-year-old Ashley Horning is facing a second-degree murder charge. But today in court, through her lawyer, Horning told the judge she doesn't remember anything. She does not understand or recall this event at all, that she has issues with sleepwalking and such things. Well, some people die and then some possessive entity just comes into that body and continues to live on using that body to enjoy whatever they want to enjoy. Mm. Some negative entities are powerful. They can possess for a longer time, and some just uh, temporarily, like now and then. Wow, oh, scary. Yes, yeah, scary, I know. That's why many people do bad things. It's not always their intention. Mm. Uh, the soul is gone dead already, 
and the body is used by a negative power. Oh, wow, scary, yes. Yeah. Even animal people, some animals are used by these uh, hungry, zealous ghosts or demons. Oh. They took over the dead body of some animal and went out and killed people or killed other animal people in a vicious, unusual way. Oh, mm. my God. Even insects, like some ants, are not all real ants. They are zombies. Oh, yes. Either by the curse of some black, vicious magician or possessed or directed by negative entities. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And recently, there was a sloth bear. They call it sloth bear who killed a couple. Oh. Oh. Attacked them in a very unusual way. That's what they say, unusual way. Because normally the bear, people wouldn't do that. Right. right. Yeah. So these are some examples. This world is a very scary world. Not all are real. Yes. yes. So humans are also victims <sighs> living in such a terrible environment. Mm. The Buddha say this world is full of demons, ghosts, and vicious entities. In the Lotus Sutra, the Buddha say that. He told a parable story. One very rich father has many children, and his children went to play in some deserted kind of ruins house and in that place were ghosts and demons and was burning so he worried about his children and he tried hard to get them out of there mm-hmm. this is a parable for our world mm-hmm. yes, yes. I see. and the buddha came down like any other master who came down and tried so hard to get humans out of danger many humans don't know that's why they don't follow them because they can't see what the buddha sees and what the master sees Understand. Yes, Master. That's why the Masters always feel very sorry for humans and try so hard, even sacrificing everything in their lives for them. Yes. But it's a pity humans do not understand, do not believe what the Masters say. That's why they bring harm upon themselves. Mm. Yes, Yes, Master. Uh, Okay. Uh, Master, we forgot to ask you. Yeah. Uh, Some leaders advise Ukraine not to humiliate Putin. Mm. Uh, but how? Because Putin invaded Ukraine unprovoked with no reason. Yeah, everybody knows that. Why those leaders advise Ukraine to do that? It seems senseless. Yeah, I wonder myself. Uh, these are the Black Dot people. Oh, I see. Oh, yes. influenced by Black Dot people. Mm. Uh, right, yes. They worry that Putin will not give them gas and oil and threaten their country. Oh, I understand. And uh, the war of Putin will damage their economy mm-hmm. yes. because many refugees will run to their countries. Oh, that will take a lot of time, money, infrastructure, and organizing to help the refugees. Right, yes. yes. Political and all kinds of things, and they are also afraid. I understand, mm. yes. yes. Or they are influenced by their personal relationship with Putin. Oh, oh. I see, yes. Some people like Putin for different reasons. I don't want to take it here. Not just political, personal. Ah, oh. <laughs> understand, Master, yes. Maybe they also have the same wicked idea. Wow. Yeah. The idea, the suggestion you ask me now is from uh, Henry Kissinger and from Macron. Yes. So these two leaders, as far as I know, advised Ukraine not to humiliate Putin. Yes, Master. But other people would say that humiliation for Putin is inevitable because of the war. Right, yes. He humiliated himself because Russia keeps losing. Yes, 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 Master. Master. And so many generals die. I don't know how many generals Putin still has left over, maybe 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. In the whole country, you can't have that many generals, but they all die. Whoever was sent to Ukraine all die. Mm, that's yes. right. The top ones, generals and colonels, these are leaders of the army. I understand that. Yes, and that sends a lot of shock waves into his army. Mm-hmm. They are demoralized and depressed. Yes. Right. And they defect or they run away or they can't fight well. Mm. Yes, I see. Now and then they gain some pockets in some places here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, because uh, they are pushed to do it. Or some vulnerable area, easy to invade and to control. Yes, yes right. Also, they have these three bases in Ukraine 
Crimea, Donetsk, and Luhansk. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes, they yes. use them like stepping stones to spread out. Yes, Master. If they didn't have these three areas, they would have lost immediately in the beginning. Mm. Oh, yes, true. This is the message that the aggressive gangster of the Russian government did not get. This is from God. The message is from God. Mm. All the war leaders, the generals and colonels who have been sent to war or die, yes. there's a message from heaven. They say, stop it. Yes. yes. Stop it. You see, because in any war, any fight, if the leaders die, that is a bad omen. Right. Yes, exactly. Yes, that means bad morale for their subordinates, for the soldiers. Yes, yes, true. Normally, in old times, if the leaders die, the soldiers will run. Right. Yes, yes, yes Run away and give victory to the other side. Mm. Yes. yes. But these Russian gangsters in the Kremlin, they did not learn that. Oh. Because they probably also don't know how to retreat now, since Putin is dead. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. They are putting up a couple of old photos and saying it's a photo from yesterday or a video or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all fake. Oh, yes. yes, Master. It's all fake. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Even in the rare case that it looks like him, it is just zealous demons manifested. Oh, wow. He won't be able to sustain long unless they keep changing the ghost inside. Wow. wow. I mean, to keep manifesting for some mm-hmm. short time. Uh-huh. Understand. Understand. Unless there are some powerful ones, that can sustain a little longer. Oh, right. But it's not putting. Uh-huh. I see. My invisible people uh-huh. took him somewhere already. Wow. His soul, gone. Wow. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Russia did not want to let people know. Oh. Because they also don't know how to deal with it. Understand. Yes. In the middle of the war, the big talk and big threatening... It cannot suddenly just all stop. Mm. That's right, yes. So they're still thinking about what to do. I hope they think fast. Yes. Yes. Concerning the humiliation for footing, people say it's inevitable. Yes. Yes. Because of all that, because of all the deaths Mm -hmm. of the military leaders. Yes, right. And before he died, he was constantly surrounded by doctors and had to go to the hospital. Yes, Master. So it's very shaky, the Kremlin. Yes, yes, Master. The Kremlin was very shaky. And now it's uh, chaotic and uh, confused. Mm-hmm. Right. Putin seemed to hint at one successor before he died, but they probably also didn't know how to use him. Oh. <laughs> They're all confused right now. I see. Yes, Master. Oh. They were suddenly thrown into a mess. Mm. Wow. And that man... Uh, the so-called successor maybe didn't want to really inherit the war and all the bad reputation. Oh. And yet he could not stop. Oh. Because if he stops it, meaning against the gang, then he would mm-hmm. die. Right, yes. And so they are in a mess right now. Oh. Right, I see. And if the gang kills him, then they also don't know what to do after he dies. And yes. Yes. So the poor guy has been picked up, but uh, he's not all that happy. Mm. Mm. Yes. He's old already. Old people mostly like to be with their wives and children and grandchildren. Right. Sitting under the clouds or in the sunset. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Enjoying some beautiful scenery elsewhere in Russia or other countries. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. They've been working all their lives. They're tired. Exactly, yes. yes. Right. So they don't feel like taking on the war and killing people. Yes. So now the Kremlin is in a mess. And so that's why uh, Larov was trying so hard to patch it up. So that's why he planned to go everywhere. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Different countries. Allies or non-allies. Yes. Uh-huh. But then many countries <laughs> stop him. Uh-huh. Block his road. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he could not go anywhere. Right. Yes. <laughs> Just one or two countries, maybe. Arab trying to explain damage control. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, right. Yeah, panicky damage control. Exactly, right. yeah. But then other countries <laughs> don't like Russia, so they blocked him. <laughs> <laughs> and he was angry, of course. Yeah. Uh, he should know he's also dying soon, my God. Yeah, what for fighting for nothing? Right. Mm. Yes, true. Before Alexander the Great died, he told his people to put both his hands out of the coffin. 
uh-huh. of the cover so that people know that when you die, even if you are Alexander the Great, you have nothing. Right. True. You take nothing with you. Yes. Yes. He died under a silver umbrella, silver mm-hmm. canopy. Yes, he died under a silver canopy. Mm. Silver canopy because he was a leader, so they gave him a silver one. Oh. And, so what? Yes, Master. You die under uh, silver canopy or under the dry leaves of a dead tree, it's the same, isn't it? Right, right. exactly. Or you die under the empty uh, sky or cloudy sky or under the sun, it's all the same, you die. Yes. And you have nothing. Yes, right. right. So before he died, he wanted to leave this lesson to the world. Don't make war, okay? Mm. Don't try to possess anything because you will die with empty hands. That's right. Right. And it's not the worst thing. You will go to hell. If he could have conveyed that message, he would have as well. Mm. Yes, yes. So Alexander the Great was not all that great. He died like us, right? Yes, exactly. (laughs) Just like a street sweeper, toilet cleaner. Yes. Any of us. True. Yes, Yes, master. But this uh, later generation after him still never learned what he wanted to convey to them. Yes. Still they are always playing all these foolish games Mm -hmm. and evil games still continuously. This is truly idiocy or evil in disguise. Yes, Master. That's right. But the thing is, what do these two leaders ask Ukraine to do? Mm. They did not explain how. They should not humiliate Putin mm. when Putin was alive. Yes. Right. It's not just Putin, it's the gangs in the family. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. I was hoping that after Putin died, their ambition, their wickedness would also die down. But this still continues for now. Oh, yes. I understand, Master. Yes, Master. Because of the collective karma of the world. Now, I guess this Kissinger, the former uh, secretary of state of the United States. Yes, yes. And Macron wanted to tell the Ukrainian people to do things that they don't want to do. Right. But, Master, what do they want Ukraine to do? (laughs) Yeah, that's a good question. I think I understand what they want the Ukrainians to do. For example, all the tens of thousands of uh, Ukrainians who are dead from uh, this uh, aggressive bloody war from Putin, they should all wake up, <laughs> <laughs> resurrect, and then praise him. Oh. Yeah, for this senseless and provoked war. And uh, the raped elderly, and the raped young woman, the raped uh, little girls and little boys should also thank him for such a horrible experience. Oh, yeah. Inhumane. Right. Mm. And the wounded or injured Ukrainians, like those who don't even have any more arms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Even the journalist who lost his arms in Ukraine, they should write letters to Putin, to praise him, to thank him. And the millions of Ukrainian refugees should run to Russia to build a great memorial with Putin's statue on top, with a big title. Underneath it, saying, the greatest bloodthirsty monster in the world. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, they should go back to Ukraine and wait to be bombed to death again. Oh. Instead of running to a neighboring country. And all the farmers in Ukraine should apologize for not being able to deliver all their produce because of a relentless bombing from Russia. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they would be able to deliver all their farm produce to Putin in mm-hmm. the camp. Oh. Yeah, so that he can sell and, and, and earn a lot of money and then continue making war. So it's all the farmers' fault. <laughs> and those Ukrainians who lost everything in the war should be grateful to Putin for the liberation that he gave them. Liberated from food, from drink, from shelter, from any necessary things to survive. Mm. Yes, Master. Yes. Her husband disappeared a day before the end of the occupation of this city. 
His body was identified 10 days later in a morgue. Били йому череп, розбили кістки, перелом кісток. За що його можна було вбити, я не знаю. Ну, мухи, можна сказати, не обідав. Людей багато вбили. Багато вбили земляків. Однокласник мій на міні підірвався, розірвало. Розірвало, не залишилося, нічого, живу. Прийшли вони нас звільняти. Від кого і від чого вони нас звільняли? Ми вас звільняємо. У нас спецоперація, ми вас звільняємо. Звільнили від усього, звільнили від нормальних умов життя. І від життя, від усього. Я чоловік кожного, кожного дня, мені здається, що він на роботі. І що він прийде. А він не прийде. А він не прийде. Ніколи вже не прийде. And those who run away from bombs with their children, with their elderly parents, or with their bad people should forever kneel and feel repentant to Putin. <laughs> and they should pray that he will be spared from hellfire. Yeah, yeah. And the Ukrainians who are still not dead yet, the, the living Ukrainians still need to think to the utmost, think harder to give Putin a good excuse to invade their country. Even though it's a bit late now, but they still can think how to make an excuse for him, how to say the excuse for him, yes. how to cover his bloodthirsty invasions with some hellish excuse. And now they also have to think of how to help the Russian gang in the camping, or in Russia, anywhere, to cover up the truth that Putin is dead. They didn't know how to get, so they didn't say anything. Mm, right. They have to help Russia to cover up Putin's death. <laughs> so that, the, so that the, the Russian army will not lose more morale. These are the headquarters of MI6, Britain's foremost secret service agency. Their latest report is shocking. MI6 says Vladimir Putin may already be dead. Yes. The bosses at this intel body say the Russian president is no more. They are making headlines in Britain. Putin is very ill. And when he dies, his death, it will be kept secret for weeks, if not months. There is also the possibility that he is already dead. It's impossible to know. It is believed that Putin has employed body doubles in the past when he has been unwell. And the Kremlin could be doing so now. Some say he had abdominal cancer. Others say he suffered from Parkinson's disease. Yet others claim it was the result of a surgery. And the Ukrainian government and the whole Ukrainian uh, citizens should give putting their precious, beloved, ancestral land of Ukraine mm -hmm. so they can make a convenient way for him to invade other countries. First of all, Europe, and then continue. Yeah, because that would be very convenient for Russia to do it. And then they will all be like slaves under Russia's strict communist control and governing. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Sounds scary. Sounds great for the Ukrainians, you know? Oh. Not at all. No. Don't you think they all love it? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. No. The European people will like it. No, at all. No way. <laughs> They're waiting for Russia to invade them as well. Oh, mm, Sure. Yeah, yeah. They don't like freedom. They don't like democracy. Mm. Do they? <laughs> 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 Looks like, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Master, what happens if they still continue to humiliate Putin? Yeah, So-called humiliation, even if he's dead already. What I mean is, we talk about the war, whether Putin's dead or alive. He humiliated himself. Mm, I see. And killed tens of thousands of his soldiers, and the war cost tens of thousands more wounded. Uh -huh, yes. yes. And that's why they reported that he still thinks of bringing the conscripts. Oh. That will make Russian people hate him more. Mm, I understand. And what happens to Ukraine if 
they continue to humiliate him. Uh, why don't they just give all the land to Putin? Then they won't humiliate him anymore. Mm. Whether or not he's dead or alive. And then the whole country will become his prisoners. Mm. Because they're all against him. Yes, yes, Master. Then you can imagine how the Ukrainian government and the citizens will be treated if they give uh, Putin what he wants, their beloved land. Right. <laughs> yeah, they all will become prisoners. Oh, God. Right. Maybe murdered, killed, tortured for any information that I don't even know. Oh, that's terrible. Just for why you dare go against the Putin. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, Master. Master. So can you imagine... If they stop the war, then all the Ukrainians become prisoners, become enemies. Yeah. They are already enemies, but they will be under Russia's torture and brutal treatment because they all those up against Putin during the war. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, master. Yes, that's true. So there will be no peace, no peaceful living under Russia's control even. Yes, master. Well, at least not this generation. Right. Right. So, Master, what would you say about all this? I would say, may God save Ukraine mm. and the Ukrainian people. May all wake up. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 May the whole world wake up to have peace and paradise on earth between humans and between humans and animal people. Amen. And of course, Russia go home. Yes, right. And may God bless also NATO members. Now is the time to stop the war. Or NATO should bring all its forces, its soldiers into Ukraine and flush all the Russian soldiers out of Ukraine. Or kowtow to Russia. Thank you for continuing to help the world in your capacity. Thank you, all of you. Thank you also, Thank you, Master, Master, for doing everything that you can. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. All of you who help to bring Master Television and help other humans in any situation and help animal people in any situation. May God bless you all. Thank you, Master. May God bless our world. Okay, I talk to you another time, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Unless you have any other questions. Uh, no more question, Master. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you then. God love. Thank, Thank you, Master. God love. God love. God protect, Master. God protect you. God love you. And I love you. We love, we love you, you too, Master. Most gracious Master, thank you will never be enough to convey our forever gratitude for your ceaseless efforts to save our world. We are in awe of your enduring love and determination to help everyone possible, even by negotiating with heavens. May the Most High bestow upon us the strength to overcome all senseless wars and suffering as we pray for the most powerful outcome for all, each of us being awakened from the core and following God's vital commandments. We wish cherished Master vigorous wellness and protection, assured by all divine beings. Please tune in again for the broadcast of this conference on Between Master and Disciples at a later date. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Fly-In News or Between Master and Disciples conferences, such as Fly-In News, Treasure Others' Lives by Making Peace, Only Peacemakers Can Go to Heaven, Representatives of the Positive Power Are Beneficial to Humankind, the bigger you are in society, the humbler you should be. Forgiveness dissolves vengeance and brings world peace. World leaders must protect freedom and democracy through action. The entwinement of the positive and negative power. If you are good to others, God will be good to you. Between Master and Disciples, governments worldwide must stand with Ukraine. Powerful countries must be courageous and help Ukraine. Heaven is aiding Ukraine in the war between good and evil. Supreme Master Ching Hai's thoughts on the urgent situation in Ukraine. The world left Ukraine to fight alone, inspiring good news in support of Ukraine. Big powers did not keep their promise to Ukraine. The united spirit of the Ukrainian people shines before the world. Ukraine's noble willpower is stronger than Russia's force. Two friends. To believe in humanity and goodness is to help each other. There are no excuses for invading a country. Diligent group meditation to protect ourselves and the world.